Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miriam. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Oh. Thank you. What about you, teacher? I'm okay, too. It's a good day. A lot of activities. Um, some activities more difficult, but it's good. Okay. And what did you do today, Miriam? Ah, today I I I was I went uh to work. Okay. Uh -huh. And what time do you work, Miriam? Ah, uh, I I can I start to work at seven a.m. Mm -hmm. to seven seven p.m. Oh, very yeah. long. Twelve hours. Twelve hours, Miriam. Yes. Because uh -huh, because uh, I'm very tired. I imagine. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday I didn't uh, 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 stay my stay in my house in my class. You were working. Yes. 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 It's normal when you work. It's okay. No problem. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Miriam. No problem. Thank you. Of course. So today we are going to practice and continue with the idea from yesterday. Okay, yesterday thank you. was indirect questions. Okay. Hello, Let's... teacher. Hello, Yancy. Do you remember what are indirect questions? Um, in the class yesterday. Yes. And uh, the. Can you tell me when I can go? Correct. This is good. These are some of the indirect questions. Indirect is, can you tell me, for example? Or also, could you tell me? Okay. These are some of the indirect questions. Also, we have, do you know? Okay. Good. Why do we use indirect questions? Why is necessary indirect questions? Um, no remember, teacher. Okay. No problem. Indirect questions we use to be nice, not to be so a direct or mean is to be in a nice way, okay? So when we use indirect is for this, for the function. So no, ah, what do you want? No, could you tell me what you want? For example? It's more polite. It's more polite, exactly. This is to be nicer, okay? To be more polite. It's okay, the idea? Mm. No? So, so? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, compañeros. Hey, hey, good. Classmates. Classmates. Um, teacher. Uh, yeah. Tengo una pregunta, fíjese que este yo este no sé en cuál sección sección tengo que ir porque yo ahorita voy en la sección uno okay. y no sé si si tengo que ir más adelantada por si van a cerrar la plataforma. Sí, de hecho ya estás atrasada. Eh, no tenés, no estás en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Porque en el grupo de WhatsApp han mandado la calendización donde te toca estar mm. y en qué fechas para cada uno para que así no te vayas atrasando. Mm -hmm. Entonces voy a revisar este, si, si, si las tengo porque este, yo no he recibido la calendarización. Quizás muy después me, me metí en el WhatsApp. Entonces Ajá. quizás mm -hmm. voy a revisarlo. Y si no, me puedo, lo, lo puedo este, decir que me las envíen allí en el grupo. Ahí sí, ahorita la vamos a ver. A ver en el grupo, cuando, 
cuando están, pero yo me acuerdo que ya estaban, ahí decía qué fechas tenía cada cosa para que tuvieras una idea de dónde debería de estar. Pero sí, si estás en la unidad 1, sí, ya estás un poco atrasada porque de hecho hoy mismo vamos a empezar la lección 3. La le ah, la le ah, no, es que yo voy, yo voy eh, en la lección 3, voy, pero yo digo sección. Que, que, que yo veo en la plataforma dice sección 1, sección 2, Ajá, sección vas, ¿Y ya vas? ¿En qué sección vas? Yo voy ahorita en... en ¿qué, ¿Qué le digo? ¿Dónde es que voy yo? Yo voy en la, le, en la lección número 3. En la lección número 3 voy yo. La lección número, la sección número tres. Ah, entonces yo allí voy en la, en la lección número tres de, de un examen que es este, ya les digo cuál es. Se llama midterm. El 3.8 voy. Ah, entonces 3.8. Entonces sí estás bien, no estás atrasada. No, es que yo no entiendo, fíjese de que yo veo, cuando abro la plataforma veo sección 1 y ya contesté todo eso. Después tengo sección 2, en la sección 2 no he, he pasado, pero donde dice sección 1 ya contesté todos lo, lo, los exámenes que dice 20%. Eso ya lo contesté, hasta uno que dice 33%, ya los contesté. Ok. Te voy a mandar ahorita. ¿Estás en el WhatsApp? Sí. Ya lo recibí. No, pero no era eso. Entonces, allí me voy a ubicar porque yo no lo tenía. Ajá, ya lo estoy viendo. Espérame, ya te voy a dar toda la información. Muchas gracias, teacher. De nada. Este, este es el mensaje que habían mandado. Lo estoy mandando de nuevo por, como dice, al, tal vez alguien se unió después, que lo mandaron o algo, y igual les digo. Sí, sí yo no los tenía, teacher. Gracias. De nada, de nada. Ok. Pero ahí pueden ver cada quien la calinización y por si acaso uno dice, ay, ¿y, y dónde debo de estar en la plataforma? El, por, por lo que se unieron un poquito después de la que, que mandaron eso, que normalmente cabal el primer día ya están mandando esa información para que uno ya se organice durante todo el tiempo pero si hay alguien más eh, que tiene duda o todavía no se ha unido no hay problema, solo lo mencionan y ahí se lo compartimos nuevamente All right. Are we? So, we're ready to begin the Thank inter you, teacher. Teacher. Yes y quiere decir de que según la calendarización que, que mandó, yo tampoco no la tenía. Okay. Y para el 8 de marzo tenemos que haber terminado la sección 3 con, ese exa con el examen de la sección 3. Correcto. Y el examen de medio, exacto. Ah, ok. Ajá, por ejemplo, Perfecto. hoy es el 2 de marzo. Entonces, mm -hmm. tenemos clase hoy y mañana. Hoy okay. vamos a finalizar la sección 2 y iniciar la 3, el cual todavía nos da tiempo mañana. Y el 8 que si pueden ver, sería el martes de la otra semana, no hay problema, nosotros estamos exactamente donde debíamos de estar uh, para poder finalizar todo sin ningún problema. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Muchas Entonces, gracias. Prácticamente, digamos que si estás al día con la clase, lo que estamos viendo nosotros en clase y vos vas con lo que estamos viendo, está, no, no vas a tener ningún problema. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Pero cualquier otra duda o alguien que no le queda claro, solo pregunten y le explicamos dónde debía de estar en la plataforma. All right. So, let's go ahead and continue. Today we are going to finish unit two. The idea was for the indirect questions. Remember, yesterday we looked at the indirect questions, which is very common. Is we want to learn to use, could you tell me, do you know, And can you tell me? These are the three common ways to ask politely, to ask nicely, 
This is the function of indirect questions, okay? In this moment, we are going to listen here at the beginning, the small conversation, and we want to answer these questions, okay? So first, let's read the questions. Miriam, read question number one. Miguel, read question number two, okay? Jose Jovito, number three, okay? Uh, Jose Isaias, number four, and Aida Lisette, number five. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's read the questions. Number one. Okay. Based on the listening activity from the video on two, uh, two point seven, answer the following questions. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Um, no, good, good. We're going to answer in a moment. Good. Mm -hmm. Number two. Based on the listening activity from the video 2.47, answer the follow question. How often do do their classes wrong? Okay, good. Thank you very much. Remember, pronunciation based, based on. Based good. on. Good, Miguel. Okay. okay, number three. Can you three. hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Based on the listening activity for the video, one, two point seven answer to follow question. One, the other. I could think of the image that me está cubriendo el texto ahorita. Okay, no problem. Ah, está, está, está. One more information. Those areas as for. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Number four. Number four, uh, how will you transform the following sentence into an uh, indirect question? Where is the nearest internet cafe? Okay. Uh, and the answer I think is the number one. Could you tell me where the nearest internet cafe is? Okay, thank you. And number five. Rephrase. Rephrase the following question as an indirect question. How late do the buses run? Okay. So now we are going to listen to 2.7 and you need to answer these questions, okay? So in your platform, you can go to here to 2.8 and prepare to answer the questions. We'll make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. 
let me present. Some. Okay. Now let's answer the questions. What is number one? The first one. It's upstairs across from the dirty free shop. Okay. All right. What is number two? The second one. Second one. Okay. Number three? The third one. Third one. Okay. Number four? First one. Okay. And number five? Uh, the third, third one. Okay. Let's see. Let's check the answers. Very good. You see? Excellent. The first one, the third one. Excellent. All are correct. The third, the second, and here. Hey, look. Guess what? Number one, one. Number two, two. Number three, three. Hey, así que fuera el examen. Excellent. <laughs> Super easy. There you go. Okay. So that is the idea that the indirect question is to change from WH, where, what, when. So use something like, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? This is the difference. Any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, good. So now we're going to practice a little bit with our partners, okay? To make sure. So we are going to ask, okay? Imagínense que son turistas donde su compañero vive, okay? Que van a preguntar. Por ejemplo, yo no sé. Eh, let's see. Rod, let me see, Jose Carlos, where do you live? I live in Apaneca City. Apaneca, oh, ok. Perfecto, ¿qué le podemos preguntar? Vaya, pregúntenle, vamos de turismo, vamos, vamos. Jose, uh, where is the, do you know where is the bank in Apaneca? Apaneca is so 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 casi Miguel te está confundiendo con el verbo to be ok you Mi know? Ajá, Miriam sí. José Carlos could you tell me where is the um, entre nubes restaurant please no 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 really lo Miguel lo mismo que Miguel mismo error ah could you tell uh -huh. me no te preocupes, mi No hay hijo. Está bueno. Ok. Sure. Me? Go, Stephanie. Go, Stephanie. Ok. José Carlos, can you tell me where the station is? Correct. Correct. Y va a ser lo mismo para eh, entre nubes, the bank. Así como dijo Stephanie. Can you, can you tell me, could you tell me where? Entre nubes, the bank, the the store, the school is at the end. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Good. So this is the idea. We are going to practice. Ah, Jose Carlos, could you tell me what I can do in, in Apaneca? Lo que yo quiero hacer es no sé una persona pesada. Entonces, en vez de decir, hey, ¿qué hay que hacer? ¿Qué, puede ser? ¿Qué podemos hacer ahí? No. Hey, Jose Carlos, eh, tenés alguna recomendación? Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? That's what we're using. Okay? Okay. Teacher. Oh. Yes. In that case, we can say, um, could you tell me what can I do? Or could you tell me what can I can uh what i can do correct what? why because you are making indirect question not direct can you tell me what uh. i can do mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome you're welcome okay so let's practice remember ask like to your partner
José Jovito, you okay? Ana Francisca, what happened? Hi teacher, es que me sacó la me sacó la aplicación y ahorita volví a ingresar y ya estaba aquí. No okay. no quedé en ningún grupo. Voy a mandarte a otro grupo, no hay problema. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, any questions? No question, teacher. No? No. Excellent, excellent. Teacher, mm. could, yeah. you tell, could you tell me where I can uh, learn English? Correct, <laughs> yes. Al inglés corporativo, online. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, very good. Now we're going to read the unit three. Now we begin unit three. So remember, in your platform is necessary complete section one, section two. Today we begin section three, okay? Stephanie, can you please read the objective for section three? The Stephanie Sea or Stephanie Roxana? Stephanie Roxana. Okay. Build your English language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of class, you will learn how to express your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will to the, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrases such as apartment are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Okay, thank you, Stephanie, very much. First, we are looking at this word, too. You see, we say too and the adjective, too small, too expensive, too much money. What do you think is the meaning of two? What? Demasiado. Demasiado. Excellent. That's right. Hi. It's very common to use the word two. Okay. This is very common to use two. For example, apartments are too small or houses are too expensive. Okay. Demasiado. This is one way to describe. Another way to describe is with comparatives. Okay. Comparatives we can use as, as. Si solo usamos as, as, is the same, is equal. If we use negative, is not equal or not the same. Okay, this is for as, as. Too demasiado or enough. What is enough? For example, apartments aren't big enough for families. No es suficiente. Uh -huh. And aren't is no suficiente. Ah, here, no suficiente que, ah, aren't big enough, no están suficientemente grande, right? Or you don't have enough parking, no hay suficiente parqueo, okay? So these are the ones that we have, okay? Now, let me give you a little bit of a link. One moment, okay. With our partners, we are going to do exercises one and two. In this moment, in the chat, you have a link. This link is to work with the partner and complete the comparatives. In this moment, we use comparative as us to see if you understand. We are going to do number one and number two. It's okay? Yes? Teacher, sorry, I don't understand you. In the chat, you have a link. Okay. In the link, you are going to do exercise number one and exercise number two. It's okay? Me imagino okay, que sí. teacher. Yeah, yeah. Imagino que sí porque ya no contestó. Ver, ahorita les yes. Gracias. All right. Let's go. Me sacó. Gracias. You welcome. Mm -hmm. 
everyone's okay. Stephanie, Galaxy 11. No se han unido, Stephanie Alejandra. Yo tampoco, teacher. Yo veo que hay varios que no se han unido. Sí, es que a mí no me apareció solo así rapidito y ya no se me apareció para unirme, teacher. Ok, Yancy, don't worry. Let me send you. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome. Aida Lisette, you okay, Jose? Galaxy 8. Okay, Jose, Galaxy.
Okay. Teacher. Yes. The page is nice. <laughs> I'm glad you like me. I'm glad you like. It's okay how to use as as. It's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice with our partners here in 3.2. With your partners, we're going to answer the questions and which is correct. Number three and four, well, number two, three, and four, which is correct. And number one is from the audio, from the apartments, the audio or the from here, if you remember, okay? So only three minutes with our partner to answer 3.2, 3.2. One moment, let's recreate. Okay. Yancy, you okay? Galaxy A11, you okay? Okay, guys, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is teacher. number one? The first. Number one. Okay, number two? The last. The last one. Number three? Second the one. Second one. And number four? Second one, too. 
pain. Now let's take a look. Ah, yes, second one, second one, excellent. Okay, and here we have number three and number one. Very good. Okay, remember, this is the formula, okay? Subject, verb to be, okay? Adjective or enough. Now we're going to use these formulas to talk with our partners. And we're going to give our opinion about houses and apartments. As an example, I, I live in a house, okay? I think apartments are too expensive. Apartments are smaller or, or are not as big as houses, okay? Is my opinion. With your partner, you give your opinion for houses, apartment, you like, you don't like, you describe. The houses have more space or the apartments are bigger or are more modern, they're different. It's okay? Okay. Yes, all right, perfect. So with our partners, remember, compare and the apartments, the houses, and have the idea for our opinion, our description.
teacher. Yes. Karen. Congratulations for your class. I like it very much. <laughs> Thank really. You, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Let's see now if we practice a little bit. Give me some example describing houses and apartment. Remember, use to, use as, use just. Okay. Yeah. For example, uh, if you have a big family, uh, you don't, you don't, uh, you can't, you can to live in a in a farm in an apartment because apartment um is in uh is in uh, apartment are aren't uh, smaller than houses ah uh, apartments are are smaller uh, than houses smaller than houses okay very nice medium very good very complete sentence good description Excellent. Okay. Who else? Give me another example. Teacher, la respuesta de la cuatro. De la cuatro del qué ejercicio? De la sección tres del ejercicio del 3.2. Okay. No, de la siguiente, la que acabamos de realizar, la 3.4, entonces, 3.4. Sí, 3.4. Ok. Es que ahí nos quedamos con el compañero, estábamos realizando y ya la última no nos salió bien. De, la última de, de, de qué, de... Aquí es solo Ahora, un video. Entonces quizás es que no me fijé el número. Ok, no problema. Pero era el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer donde era de, de complementar. 3.5, teacher. 3.5. Okay. Gracias. Ok, 3.5. La número 4, aquí. Sí. Exacto. Ok. Pusimos many, pusimos as y no nos funcionó. Ajá, porque no solo es la palabra, tenés que poner la descripción. El as en sí no significa nada más que igual, igual que, igual de bonito, ah. igual de grande. Tenés que poner una descripción para que te funcione. Si solo pones as, no te va a parecer nada. Hello, teacher. Me había salido. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Entonces, don't worry, it's okay. So, let's look, Yancy. Okay. ¿Qué crees que puede ser? Va uh -huh. de sí, ya sabemos que va a llevar un as. ¿Cómo lo sabemos? Porque ya llevaba el segundo. Y si ya lleva el segundo, es que tiene que haber un primero. As a space. As, no, pero. As a space. No. ¿Qué otra, qué palabra vas a describir? My new house doesn't have as. House. No. Ok. So, tal vez aquí en esto lo que tenés que hacer es Regresar aquí en 3.4 y ver el video. Aquí te va a decir cuáles. Mira todas las que usamos con as. As many, as much, as convenient. Ahí vamos a ver todos los que van. Pero te fijas que todos utilizan una palabra antes que as. Tienes que usar lo que es lo que estás hablando. Wow. Uh -huh. Ok. Puede ser money allí, o, o, o no es así, profe. Sí, así es. M many no es correcto, many. pero as, así es. As many. Uh -huh. as, as many as o as, just, as much. As much as es much. lo correcto. Much. Ah, muy bien. ¿Por qué sabemos que es as much? Sabemos que es as much y no as many. Porque aquí la palabra no lleva una S, no es contable. 
-huh. y las palabras que no son contables usamos much las que sí contamos es many uh -huh. y ahí claro. tenemos que ir viendo lo que aprendimos en las unidades anteriores porque van saliendo y es importante para las siguientes unidades no son, no son cosas aisladas sino que lo que aprendes de una lo vas a aplicar y lo necesitas para la siguiente Ok, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So let's get some more examples. Let's describe the houses and the apartments. Give me some examples for houses and apartments. Mm. Hoy nadie puede describir su casa. Nadie puede describir su casa. <laughs> wow. Imagínese. Wow. Mm -hmm. What happened? Es que la pregunta, teacher. Es que no hay pregunta. Solo teacher. describe. Ah, so describe. If my house, uh, there is uh, five rooms. Ok. Teacher, shoes are and, a victim. Okay, no, 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 no victim, no victim. I have volunteers. I know, I know I have volunteers. Mm -hmm. Remember, the idea is describe a house or apartment, compare the house and the apartment. For example, my house has more bedrooms than an apartment. My house is My, the apartment is not as big as a house. An apartment is too small. Only use the different words to describe. Okay, we use two and the adjective. Okay, you're going to use this means that is more. We use two, for example, and an adjective. We use as with an adjective. Okay, so only is necessary to describe your house. My house is too small. My house is too small. Teacher, expensive. I have a, an example. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Stephanie. Uh, the apartments aren't as cheap as the houses. Very good, Stephanie. Only we are going to correct. The houses aren't as cheap. As uh, cheap, okay, okay. As cheap, okay, as an apartment. Thank you. You're welcome. No, thank you. Very good. Any other Una pregunta. Yes. ¿Por qué en este caso este, no agregamos la ER a esos verbos para comparar o usamos el tan si estamos comparando cosas? Porque estamos usando as para comparar, que son lo que es como o, eh, o igual que. Si miras el chat, en el chat vas a ver que usas as y al adjetivo más as. As plus adjective and as. Eso significa que son iguales. Por ejemplo, tú y yo tenemos la misma edad o el mismo tamaño, estatura o el peso. Entonces, ese, si somos igual, usamos as, as. I am as tall as you. Porque no estoy comparando, ya estoy igual. El as, as es igual. Si yo quiero decir que no somos igual, tengo que usarlo antes. I, I am not, I am not as tall as you. No estoy diciendo que estoy más alto. Estoy diciendo que no estamos igual. Eso es la uh -huh. diferencia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso ya sería otro tema. Los que se les agrega ER. Como el ejemplo Exacto. que dijo ella, cheaper, smaller, Exacto. Es bigger. Todo eso son otros comparativos. Exacto. Es otra forma de comparar. Mm -hmm. El cheaper, el smaller, el bigger is a different comparative. It's superlative, really? 
a comparative. The comparative. Also, can be superlative with est. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, guys. We are going to pause. Tomorrow we are going to continue. Eso significa que hoy ya deben de estar terminado o mínimo con la sección 2. Ya estamos en la sección 3. Si ven, estos les ayuda mucho ver los videos antes de la clase, porque así no están tan en los temas. Y eso le ayuda. Acuérdense, la idea de la, de la plataforma es hacerlo antes de la clase. No hacerlo en la clase o después, sino que verlo antes para desarrollar los ejercicios durante la clase. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B